Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class, guys. Thank you for joining on time. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Everything good? Yeah, I haven't there. checked your messages yet, but I will right now. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Welcome everyone. Wait. Let's wait for the other ones to join, okay? <clears throat> Let's see, I haven't got no messages yet. Hi, Ezekiel. Hi, Osvin. Hello, Sabrina. Hi, Amilcar. Hi, Hi Marielos. Hi, Mabel. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jaime. Hello, Marina. Hi, Marielos. Teacher, ¿cuánto falta ya de oh. clases? Con los días saltados, uh, me he perdido. Fuck. That are missing, let's see. Three more classes. Okay. Three more classes and we are out. We will go to the next level. Wow, guys, that's awesome. Teacher, are you talking with us? Yeah. I can't listen to you. You can listen to me? Los demás si me escuchan? Yes, yes, I listen. Uh, Mabel, let's go ahead and check your, your, <clears throat> your audio. Maybe there is a problem with the audio. Okay, guys, I believe we will start right now. Just let me get one moment. Um, let me answer my bill. Just one moment, please. Okay, guys, so we will start right away. All right. Um, hello, Daniel. Welcome. Welcome, Estefania. Welcome, Kenny. Welcome, Marina. <clears throat> uh, I do have a, um, a sore throat today. So I hope uh, that I can... Um, I speak a little bit louder, but yes, I have a sore throat today. I don't know how and I don't know why, but that's the reason why my, my voice is not going to be too loud, all right, as usually it is. <laughs> so 
Today is Thursday, guys, and tomorrow is Friday. I can't believe it. There is another um, there is another um, week. All right. And then uh, there is missing three more classes. Three more classes and we are out. Okay. And you are learning. You're learning a lot. So that's what I really like that you are learning. So the, today we will have uh, the class 17. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, that means that on Friday we have the class 18, then on Monday 19, and we finish on Tuesday with the class 20, okay? Guys, if you receive a, a survey, para los que no saben, um, let me switch to Spanish. Si reciben, guys, una survey, una encuesta, no la hagan, okay? Please sino que la vamos a hacer hasta el día, uh, el, el, el martes, hasta el último día que tengamos clases, ya que esa encuesta se hace en clase, ¿sí? Entonces la vamos a hacer hasta el 12 de julio. Yo sé que puede que ya reciban esa encuesta, ya sea por correo o mediante WhatsApp, pero sí le voy a pedir que no la hagan todavía, sino que la vamos a hacer todos juntos el día martes. Listo. Ya la recibí, teacher. Perfect. So, don't touch it. No, you touch it. No, no, no touch it. I mean, don't answer it. Yes. No, I, no, I, 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 no. Thank you, Julio. Y perdón yes. que estoy hablando un poquito así. Uh, bueno, realmente estoy hablando un poco bajito, pero eh, me duele un poquito la garganta desde la mañana. Yo espero que solo sea ahora y no, no empeore la situación, pero <coughs> cuídense, by the way. Yo no he salido ni nada, as far as I know, sí, solamente salió a un lugar, pero um, está dando el COVID, so cuídense, guys. Muchos de mis familiares y amigos han dado positivo últimamente y pues, be careful. You, te, you, you, um, you have the four vacuum? No, I have just one. Ah, oh, sorry, two. Two teachers. What's going on? Um, I mean, I didn't want to get the, 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 the third one, either the fourth one. <laughs> I didn't want, and because I'm pregnant, I'm, 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 I don't know, I'm afraid of that. I don't know if you can do it or not, so. I'll need, I'll need um, four bathroom. If for, if for our protection. Yes. Um. Yes, I, I haven't got the vaccine, the, the vaccine, the COVID vaccine. Mm -hmm. Maybe later, <laughs> but not now. Take I'm care. All... Yes, I'm taking care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, so, um, hicieron las actividades, guys? Todas las actividades la, las han hecho hasta el momento? ¿Pudieron hacerlo? ¿No tuvieron ningún inconveniente? What activity? Las tareas, las cinco tareas. Um, perdón que ayer no les pregunté. The pero five of the, de la semana. The, the third section. Ajá, exacto. Ah, yes. The third section, yes. About the fourth section, only the first. Sí, la, la, la última semana todavía no, ¿verdad? Porque eh, todavía no hemos finalizado las cuatro semanas. Solamente hasta la tercera semana. Teacher, ¿Sí? it's a 40 and say me and congratulations. I am finished. Finish Everything. Wow. Marriage. Thank you. All, yes. Fíjense que una cosa yo eh, les iba a mencionar, yo creo que eh, cometí un error en este curso y pues no me fijé la verdad, so sorry, eh, no sé si pueden escuchar la perrita que está ladrando al final, sí, yes. 
Ay, perdón. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. So it's a new pet that I have. Nueva perrita y it seems that Crips is not working then. Pero parece que no está funcionando mi, mi app. Pero bueno, continuando con lo que les estaba mencionando, guys. <coughs> eh, sí, eh, yo no me di cuenta. Realmente fue también una confusión de los lesson plans un poco. Porque yo lo vi, uh, bueno, así como yo iba avanzando, y avanzando de acuerdo a los temas, pero parece que nos adelantamos un poquito, un poquito. So, vamos adelantados un poquito, creo que casi que una clase vamos adelantados. So, al final es mejor para todo, ¿verdad? <ríe> Porque pues estamos aprendiendo y vamos a tener más práctica porque voy a intentar dar, darles más práctica con respecto al uh, simple pass. So, ese es el error. Espero me perdonen, pero si ustedes ven, si ven, por ejemplo, que en las tareas uh, das a match eh, con los temas, puede ser por eso. Pero lo que pasa es de que este curso había como un error en los lesson plans y no sé si yo lo malinterpreté o qué, pero lo iba siguiendo, entonces al final sí me di cuenta que iba adelantada. Pero eso no ha como perjudicado nada, ¿verdad? Al contrario, creo que no, como les dije, nos va a dar más tiempo de practicar más. Así que pues, si quieren hacer el final exam, yo creo que están preparados. Tal vez para que we are 17, 18, para mañana. Yo creo que estaría, si no, espérense el último día para hacerlo. Pero creo que los temas ya, ya están cubiertos. Eh, so, you can try. You can try como Julio lo hizo, ¿verdad? Así que pues, el último clase siempre, los últimos tres clases, de hecho eran de práctica siempre, pero eh, no tocábamos ningún tema de gramática. So, don't worry. El mismo tema de Simple Pass, de Ver to Be in Pass. Así que, pues, si ustedes quieren hacer el, ex, eh, el examen final, you can do it. O si ustedes quieren finalizar con las tareas, it's fine. Ok. So, no, no creo que haya como un cambio en sí. A ver, nos adelanta. Pero no se, se notó, lo quería que mencionar. Sí. No, ¿verdad? No, no se nota. Nos emocionamos. <ríe> eh, pero no, yo lo que trato siempre en todos los cursos es no ir eh, súper rápido. No siento que hemos ido así, solamente es que creo que había mucha práctica de simple, eh, simple pass. Entonces, no, no creo que haya problema realmente, no hay problema porque es el mismo tema. Así que pues solamente eso les quería decir. Y let's start, ok? Let's start classes today. Do you have any questions? ¿Tienen preguntas, comentarios, dudas, feedback? ¿Algo que quieran mencionar? Nothing. Oh, todo, todo good. Todo blue. Todo blue. Ok. It's okay, it's all right. All right, perfect. Yes. So guys, today we will continue practicing the WH questions and the yes, no questions. But now, Teacher. since we, yes? Excuse me, uh, what many Google, you, you say much Google, I, I don't know the, what many. Which one? Google. <laughs> I listen, I listen, Google. Es que yo oigo que, que usted dice Google, no sé cómo, no entiendo, no sé qué es. Usted lo usa mucho. Cuando dice Google. Cuando dice todo ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Todo Google. Ah, We will. Todo, todo, ¿Todo Google. Good? Todo Google. Ah, good. pero no está diciendo como en español, pero. Lo, perdón. Lo... <risa> sí, sorry. Solo es como con todo, todo bien, pero es English, right? Todo good. Perdón, ah. okay. ¿Todo bien? No, creo que se refiere a... Oh, se refiere a otro. Se re... Ajá, a de Google Start, algo así. Ah, uh, yeah, Google. yes. Oh, Google. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. 
Who will go ahead? Ah, ok. Que vamos a ir a... We will, nosotros, we will. We will go. We will go ahead. Vamos a continuar. Ah, ok. O we will go y vamos a entrar a algo nuevo. We will go ahead. En... Yes, como Thank que... You. Julio, um, usted tiene una pregunta, ¿verdad? Hey, teacher, I have a question. Yes, go ahead, le digo. Andele, dígame, como que go ahead, dele, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Go please. ahead es como que dele. Entonces, okay. go ahead es como que le, let's go, ok? Let's go. So, we will go ahead. Ah, ok. okay. No, no la había captado. Thank you, si quiero. Thank you. <clears throat> ok, so, um, let me share the screen, guys. And uh, eso es lo que les había mencionado, lo que les estaba diciendo, miren, y se van a dar cuenta ahorita. El tema, uh, today's topic, se lo pusieron como, es que no, la verdad es que no sé si me adelanté o realmente lo pusieron hasta acá este tema, que es un tema que ya vimos. I don't know if you remember about performance report, ¿se acuerdan? Que estábamos hablando del performance de los employees. Sí, ok, so, <laughs> parece que I, I got the, I got, I mean, I realized, yo me di cuenta, I realized que nos habíamos adelantado un poco, sí, pero we already, uh, we already started that topic, we already know about the performance, how to report a performance about someone else, so we're fine, ok, So uh, this is the class 17, as I was mentioning. And guys, yesterday we were finishing an activity in the page 44. I don't know if you remember. It was regarding yes, no questions in the simple past form. So do me a favor and open the page 44, guys, on your manual, page 44. And we will continue with the activities, okay? Page 44, let me open that again as well. Let's see. Here I have it. Uh, do you see the manual, guys? Ven el manual? Yes. Perfect. So, um, so yesterday we were working uh, in the page, we were working on the page, sorry, 44, all right? And we were um, creating simple past questions using the verse and the pronouns in the parentheses. All right. I told you guys that today we will continue with the um, with the practice. Okay. And we was gonna be working together. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and do it. All right. Let's do it together. Number, let's go with the number one. Guys, those are, remember, yes, no questions, okay? Yes, no questions. So those um, questions, the A questions were just yes, no questions in the simple past, all right? So those are easy, guys, easy. So you will help me right now to do them, all right? So let's go with the number one. I got the number one here and it says, you meet your boss yesterday. How, how uh, should I start here? Marcos Antonio, could you please help me with the number one? Hello, Marcos? Did you meet? Mm, Oswin, could you please help me with the number one? Yeah. Did no. you meet your boss yesterday? Let's see. Uh, sorry, that is not. Or here I have. Did you meet, right? Yeah. Your boss yesterday. Very good. Oswin. So, guys, sorry. pretty easy. You just put the auxiliary did at the beginning of the simple past, okay? Did plus subject plus verb in the base form. Recuérdense, no vamos a cambiar el verbo. El verbo se mantiene en la base de forma, 
cada vez que hacemos un negativo y pregunta, ¿ok? Solamente la vamos a cambiar en afirmative, affirmative, ¿ok? That's it. Entonces, acá como es, y es no question, lo único que tenemos que hacer es ponerle did al principio, mantener el verbo. Did you meet your boss yesterday? All right, I will ask this question to Ezekiel. Ezekiel, did you meet your boss yesterday? Se reunió con su jefe yesterday? Yes, I met my boss yesterday. All right, perfect. Let's get a short answer. How would you answer that shortly? Yes? Yes, I meet. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. Very good, Julio. Yes, I did, Ezekiel. The short answer, okay? Because it's yes, no question, okay? Con yes, no question, short answer. No, so, no, yes, I didn't. <clears throat> Yes, I did, or I did, sorry, or no, I didn't. Very good. Let's go with the number two. Uh, Julio, um, Julio, could you please help me to answer this? Number two, Julio Cesar Merino. Mm, did, she and attend the July conference. Did she attend the July conference? Good job. Did she attend? Attended or attend? Attend. Attend. attend yeah. el, se, se mantiene el, en su forma simple. Good. Mm -hmm. Base form. Yes. Very good. Yes. Did she attend the July conference? All right. Amilcar, did she attend the July conference? What will be the answer? Uh, yes, he did. He or she? She. All right, perfect. Yes, she did. Remember, if it is a third person, first person, second person, doesn't change the form. You just, you always put did, all right? Usted solamente lo cambia en presente. Cuando se pone das en presente. Okay? Pero en pasado, the same. Did, 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 all right? Okay, uh, let's see. Um, I will go with... Um, Marina, could you please help me with the number three, Marina? Uh, they, no, did they stay? Did they stay? Very good. In the meeting last night. In the meeting last night. Good job. Jaime, did they stay in the meeting last night? Yes, I did. Let me repeat over again. Did they stay Sorry. in the meeting last night? <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they did. All right. Yeah. Oy, sorry. Yes, they did, right? Good job. Good job, guys. All right. Uh, Mabel, could you please help me with the number four? Yes, teacher. Deal. Mm -hmm. He. Did he? Did he pass the test? Sorry for the misspelling. There's missing an S there. Yes, we will go with Thank you. Did he okay. pass the test? All right. Uh, Sarina, did he pass the test? It can be negative or positive. Mm -hmm. Did he pass the test? No, he didn't. Very good. <laughs> I wanted to hear an, a negative one. Very good. No, he didn't. Good job. Sorry for my keyword. Let me change it really quick. <clears throat> no, he did not, teacher. <laughs> no, he did not. All right. No, he did not. All right. Very good. All right. Fatima, could you please? Thank you. Thank you, girls. Could you please help me, Fatima, with the number five? Did you... Have fun at the Christmas party. Very good. All right. Uh, Daniel, did you have fun at the Christmas party? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Sorry, my microphone. Yes, I did it. Yes, I did. Very good. Perfect. All right, let's see. 
Uh, Marcos Antonio, are you ready to participate? No? Yes, teacher. Okay, Marcos Antonio, number six. Could you please help me with number six? Did it start on time? Did it start on time? Very good. They said, what is the answer of this? Did it start on time? They said. Um, Julio Cesar, are you yeah, there? I, I, sorry. Did, did you? Oh, what would be the answer? Did it start on time? Oh. <clears throat> the answer. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Yes, I start on time. Yes, sorry. I start? Yes, I start? Oh, yes, it is. It is. Uh, I mean, yes, it did. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Yes, it is start on time. It, is, it did, right? It did. Yes, it did. Yes, listen. Yes, it did. O podemos decir, no, it didn't. Ok? Siempre manteniendo el, el, el pronombre. Ok? Okay, so Julio Cesar, um, wait, where is Julio Cesar? No, Julio Cesar, we don't have the, the other Julio Cesar here, right? Kenny, could you please help me with the number seven, Kenny? Jonathan, are you a listener today? Teacher, I'm in here. Perfect. Jonathan, could you please help me with the number seven? The question. Yes, the question. Did they leave early? Oh, sorry. I was just verifying one um, message about you guys. Did they leave early? Are Did we? they leave? Oh, sorry. Did they? Did they leave, right? Did they leave early? Very good. Stefania, are you there, Stefania? Yes, the... All right, Stefania, thank you. Did they, did they leave early, Stefania? <clears throat> yes, yes, they, they did. Yes, they did, very good. Yes, they did. Good job. All right. Uh, guys, do you have questions about this? Guys, questions? No, teacher. No. Uh, it's very easy. <clears throat> easy, right? Let's see, let me get a second. You can copy that if you want, guys. Copy no CSM, please. I just want to get the listeners for today. Let's see. Thank you for the for the photo. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you, Ezekiel. Okay, uh, <clears throat> no questions, right? So let me clear, uh, well, let me get one moment for you to finish copying it. Just one moment. So, okay. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, let's continue. Um, let me uh, clear all drawings, okay? And let's see. Let me scroll down. Okay, guys, so it's time to continue uh, practicing the yes, no questions. Yes, no questions or WH questions with a simple pass, okay? So guys, let's go ahead and write questions about past events and interview one or two classmates, then share the answers with your class. Esto vamos a hacer ahorita, guys. I want you to please to write as many sentences as you want, okay? Háganme las oraciones como si, si quieren hagan a las siete, sino al menos cinco preguntas. Five questions, either yes, no questions or WH questions. Teacher, but what kind of questions? Questions in the past, regarding the past, ¿ok? Preguntas acerca del pasado, utilizando esta estructura del simple past example. <clears throat> Sorry, let me go ahead and put some examples here. Uh, let's see. Where did you live last year? Let's see. Where did you live last year? Uh, let me get another example. Did you study today? Okay. Entonces, yo, por ejemplo, se las hago a uno de ustedes. Ok, uh, let's see. Sabrina, where did you live last year? Sabrina might be answering, I live. O si ustedes quieren, ponen el nombre de Sabrina. ¿Quién ustedes entrevistaron? Sabrina, live, lived, ok. Ahora sí, hago la conjugación yo. Lo pongo en ED porque está hablando de una afirmativa. Sabrina lived um, in, let's see, Sonsonate last year. Ok. Sabrina lived in Sonsonate last year. Eso, una vez que usted haga la, las preguntas, usted se las va a ir preguntando a la persona. La persona le va a ir contestando y usted va a ir llenándolo. Another one. Did you study today? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's go with another one. Another question. Let's see. Um, when was, uh, let's see. When did you go? When did you go to the cinema? All right. When did you go to the cinema? When did you go to the cinema? Let's see, I asked um, Marina, when did you go to the sirena? Uh, cinema, sorry. And Marina said, <clears throat> let me get a second. When did you go to the cinema? And then Marina answered, when? Um, I went, okay, to the cinema yesterday, okay? I went to the cinema yesterday. Great, all right? So, and then I continue making questions, the ones that I want, okay? Siempre haciéndolo en yes, no questions o en wh questions. Solo las preguntas va a ser. Después voy a moverlos a una breakout room. And then you will ask those questions to your classmate, okay? Let's make at least five, okay? Five sentence, uh, five questions at least. At least. If you can do the seven, that would be great. Okay, so for this activity, we have 10 minutes to uh, make the questions, okay? 
to create the questions, 10 minutes. And while you're doing so, I will go through the attendances. Estos solamente son ejemplos que yo les estoy dando. All right? Luego, you go to the breakout room, you ask the question orally. Oralmente van a hacer las preguntas. La otra persona la va a contestar orally as well. Y usted va a poner la respuesta a la par. Okay? Is that any question regarding this activity, guys? Do you have any questions so far? Or is it clear? Is it clear? I will go through the attendance list then, okay? Will you, are, will you start doing so? So I will move you to the breakout room at 8.49. 8.49, I move you to the breakout rooms, okay? So you will start uh, practicing. Let me go through the attendance list. Please help me with your full name on Zoom. Help me to turn on the camera and help me to say present, okay? If you're a listener, I will appreciate if you help me to say present. All right, Thursday. <clears throat> Thursday the 7th. Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Um, Estela Mabel Oriana del ¿sí? CIN. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jennifer Noemí Mata Aragón. Present. Ok. Jessica Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Kenny. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. <coughs> Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marielo, ¿usted ya se quedó conmigo en la sesión uno a uno? No, teacher. ¿Se puede quedar el día de ahora conmigo? Así anda. Sí. sí. Thank you, Marielo. Sí. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Thank you guys. Okay. So we have um, seven more minutes to do it, all right? Let's continue making the questions, guys. If you have any question regarding this, please let me know, okay? Si tienen preguntas, me las dejan saber, yeah, guys.
Guys, ¿cómo vamos? Ya, yeah. you almost done? How many do you have right now? How many uh, questions I, do you have? Seven. I have, I have four, seven, teacher. Four, seven? Okay. What about the other ones? I have five. You have how many, Marcos? Uh, five, teacher. Five, five, okay. Five. What about the other ones, guys? Eight, seven. Seven, okay. The demands, guys, did you finish? Finish? No, guys? I have six. Six, okay. Should I move you to the breakout rooms, guys? Or do you want more, one more minute? If you have five, you're fine, okay? You can ask the five that you have. Can we continue with the break average? No. Los demás, ¿cómo vamos? Lisette, Marielos. Yes, teacher. 
Julio Cesar. For the six. Son of four, sorry. Osbin, did you finish? Yes, I finished. Perfect. Son cuanta, cuantas teacher? They are seven, but if you have five, you're seven. fine. Oh my God. Si tiene cinco, está bien. How many do you have? Cuatro, thank you. Okay, I will Solo give you falta. one more minute, guys. One more okay. minute. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. One more minute. Jonathan, did you finish? Amilcar, Sabrina? Yes, teacher. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Okay, I, I, will, I will go ahead and create the breakout rooms <laughs> while you finish, okay? Just allow me one moment. Ok, guys, miren, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Let's do this following. I will go ahead and make breaker rooms right now for you to be able to show your questions to your classmate. Le van a enseñar sus preguntas a su compañero y su compañero se los va a enseñar las de él. Ambos van a corregirse entre los dos, ok? Usted corrige la de su compañero y su compañero le corrige a usted. Right? <coughs> si quiere le puede mandar una foto o se la puede mandar en WhatsApp o se las puede leer. Comparen sus preguntas sin hacerse las preguntas. Y luego voy a moverlos a otro breaker room para que hablen con otra persona diferente y puedan hacer las preguntas ya revisadas. All right? So right now we have Five minutes to share the questions with your classmates so you can correct them, okay? Ahorita solo la vamos a corregir. No la vamos a hacer las preguntas. En la segunda vuelta que haga los break rooms, entonces ustedes van a hacer las preguntas. Y su compañero se las va a hacer a usted. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, I'm just making the break rooms right now. Kenny, are you a listener today, Kenny? Kenny? Um, Kenny, are you there? Okay, um, I will go ahead and make the break rooms right now, okay? While well, you finish with the questions. Just allow me one moment.
Okay, guys, I have already opened the breaker rooms. Could you please click on join? Click on join, please, for you to join to the breaker rooms and just correct them, okay? Vamos a corregirlo, a ayudarle a su compañero a corregirlo ahorita. Just to correct them, okay? Click on join, please, guys. Tell and click on join. Uh, first, did you cook yesterday? Yes, I did. Mm, pero está bien. Sí, ¿verdad? Did you cook this? Sí. Yes. Did you eat pupusas last Sunday? Sorry, guys. No, I didn't. You. Uh, ahorita lo que vamos a hacer solamente, Jaime, es como corregirlas. Ayudarle. Corregirla. Ajá. Ayudar a Fátima okay. a ver si están buenas. Y Fátima le ayuda a usted para ver si están buenas. Y luego en la otra ronda vamos a hacer las preguntas. Ok. Ok. Revísensela ahí entre los dos. Vamos a ver si están bien. Ok. Ok, ya. So when, when did you visit your parents? This is... Guys, sorry to interrupt you. Ahorita solamente vamos a corregir las preguntas. Ayúdense como compañeros a compararlas para ver si están buenas. Luego voy a, a moverlos en otra break room para que se hagan las preguntas, ¿ok? okay. Ahorita solo compárenlas para ver si están buenas al momento que la vayan a preguntar. Ah, ok. okay. All right. That's ok, that's ok. The next one. It's okay. The next one. The other one. The next one is the siguiente. Ah. Uh, did you did you clean the bathroom? Did you clean? Did, did you clean your bathroom? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. The next one. Siguiente. And. Um, where did she work last month? Where did your, you study your career? Said a career. Okay, let's see. You work in Saturday. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Guys, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. Acuérdense que ahorita solamente vamos a ayudar a corregir al compañero si en caso tiene errores. Vamos okay. a comparar nada más. Y en la otra, okay. en la otra vuelta, en la otra ronda, yo los voy a pasar con alguien más para que sean las preguntas ya corregidas. Ahorita sola vea, oh, solamente okay. vean si su compañero tiene bien las preguntas. ¿Ok? Ayúdense okay. a comparar para ver si están bien. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. So, I wait for your questions. Ok. Where did you going to vacation? Yes. ¿Qué dónde fuiste en vacaciones? Yes. Yes. 
where the we going to vacation. Yes, but for El me. ING? El ING creo que es some in the mass. Where did you go? Acuérdense que el verbo se queda en base form. Ah, sí. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exacto. Sería, where did you go, Julio? Where is you, where did where you did go? You go. Uh -huh. Where did you where go? Where did you uh -huh. go? Uh -huh. go. Okay. In, el, in, is, está en más, teacher. ING, no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, tiene que ser en base, ¿verdad, teacher? Base forma, exacto. En pasado, base forma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Yes, porque ya lleva el dick que está en pasado. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. No, it's fine. Thank you. Yes. Okay. What a pity. I like your phrase. What a pity. <laughs> no, it's not a pity. <laughs> Yes. Let's continue, guys. Compare the, compare the questions. Okay. Así vamos teacher. a aprender. No se preocupen. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. I went. I went in eight. eight. And yes, I went. Fast. El pasado, the pass of it, eight. Pasta, ¿verdad? Eight. Yes. Eight. Yes. eight. El pasado de go, went. Teacher, I have a, uh, ¿cómo se dice duda? Doubt. <coughs> Doubt. Mm -hmm. I have a doubt with um, a sentence. Yeah. Is, Tell me. Who did the dinner today? And the who, answer is mm -hmm. Who cooked Pablo cooked the dinner cooked tonight? Entonces cambiamos el verbo cooked. Who cooked any day? the dinner today? Vamos a, en el who, acuérdense who, que hay una excepción. Who cook. Oh. Exactly. Uh -huh. Es la excepción del who. Yes, Los demás, yes. W.A., sí, siempre le dejamos el día. Entonces, siempre sería who cook. And the answer is in past. También yes. en pasado. Uh -huh. Cooked. Ajá. Ya sea en la pregunta I'm como en la respuesta, tonight. siempre vamos a poner la ed. Es la excepción del who. Ok. Es este. Uh, I read my sentence and, and you and you could tell me if okay. Okay. Ya las ya las eh, compartimos con Sabrina también. Y Sabrina yes. las. Okay, great. Sabrina, usted ya la compartió con Lisa. Yes, teacher. Great. Okay, Lisa, go ahead. When did you, sorry, what did you do the Friday in the night? What did you um, do Friday night, on Friday night? On Friday night, okay. Next, did you see Maria yesterday? Did you see Maria yesterday? Okay. Who cooked? The dinner today. Okay. When when did you go to the concert? Mm -hmm. Very good. Did you make your homework? Okay. Did you make? Uh huh. Why did you send this mes message? Message. Oh, sorry. Just to confirm is um. Do homework. Where did you do the homework? Did you make your homework? Where did you do the homework? Con el do, en vez del, del, del make. Ah, okay. 
that you do your home. Uh -huh, exactly. And the last one is okay. Why did why did you send this message? Yes, very good. Okay. Do you have a yes no question? No. No tienen yes no question. Yes no question. Mm -hmm. Only, only, yes, no question, solo con, yes, I did, yes. Mm -hmm. Y hizo de no, yes, I no question. Yes, um, did you see Maria yesterday? Oh, yes, yes, sorry. Great, he said, sorry. Yes, very good. Okay, they are fine, two. very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I believe I will go just with one more room and then we will practice. I mean, we will um, ask to the other ones, okay? I'll be right back, girls. Ya regreso. Yes, yes. Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. Did you correct each other? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. I will go ahead and move you to the main room, all of you guys, because I believe everyone finished. Okay? Okay. Thank okay, you, teacher. guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Just one moment. We are talking about our days. Really? Thank you. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Thank you for participating. <laughs> for practicing. Yeah, thank you for you. <laughs> okay, let's go to the main room, guys, and then- Goodbye, will... Marina. Goodbye. All right. Hello guys, thank you for joining back. I will modify the breakout room so you can now ask the questions, okay? Allow me just a moment, let's wait for the other ones to join. I will wait for the rest of you guys to come back. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Okay, guys, now it's time to practice, okay? Now that you check your answers, I mean, your questions, it's time to practice. I will go ahead and modify the breakout rooms for you to practice with someone else, okay? Okay, let's... I will modify your breaker rooms, guys. Let's see. Okay. Yes? ¿Cuándo es la última clase? Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Hello, Marcos Antonio. Hello. Voy a dejar una, eh, voy a dejar un grupo de tres, ¿ok? So. El nuestro. I will open the breakout rooms for you to start practicing right now. Click on join, please, guys. 
para que usted pueda practicar ahora. Ask the questions oralmente. No, re, no not written. Just spoke. Spoken English, right? Just spoken English. Click on join, please. Teacher. Yes, Marina. And question, question and answers. Solamente la pregunta y ah, su okay. compañero le va a responder. Depende de la que usted tenga. Y luego su compañero le va a preguntar a usted. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Click con join, guys, please. Dice, click on join. Oswin. Dice, the Oswin are missing. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Where did you live? Where did you live last year? I lived in San Salvador last year. Okay. When did you go to the beach? I went to the beach last summer. Last summer, okay. Did you work today? Yeah, what? Salero. Better. Mejor. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to make the question that uh, we did. Okay. And if you want, if you want, can you start or you want to, that I can start? No oh, problem. Empiezas, empiezas, empiezas vos entonces. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so, teacher está ahí. Yes, I'm here. So, we have to make the question and, and the other the other partner has to make the, the, the answer. The answer, exactly. And then vice versa. Okay, very good. Okay, Angela, I'm going to start. Um, Angela, when did the teacher give us the class? That remember here. And repeat, please. When the when did the teacher give us the class? Give us. Give us. Give us. Es como nos dio. Repeat, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> The, the question say, when did the teacher give us the class? For example, one day that you remember. And uh, today. <laughs> but you have, you have to, to say in English. <laughs> and, Complete answers. The teacher gave, gave, gave. the class today. Today. Mm -hmm. Tiene que ser complete answers and in past. Okay? And the teacher gave us the class. The class today. That's it. If you want, we can make change. Can you, uh, uh, you can uh, um, ask me and I'm gonna uh, answer you. Ah, okay. But also let's practice, uh -huh, exactly. You can ask 
And then, Jonathan, you ask her again. Yeah, okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, if, if you want, can you start? Uh, okay. And what did you do today? Um, sorry, I can I can hear it. And what did you do today? Ah, okay. I I add uh cheese and eggs for the dinner. I. I wash it. I wash it. I wash. I wash. I wash. Es como escupiendo, ¿verdad? I wash it. I wash it. I don't remember the names. What did you do yesterday, Marcos? What? What did you do yesterday? Um, I, I do exercise. I did. I went, no. Sí, verdad. No. I went. I, I, I went. Went. What did you do yesterday? Ah, uh, I did exercise. I, I did exercise. At night after mm. the class. <laughs> no, ya le está preguntando what did you what did you do yesterday? O cómo fue, sorry. Mm -hmm. See, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is my answer, teacher? This is your answer. This is good, teacher, or no? Yes, I but in fact, yesterday at night. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in past, right, Marcos? No. In pasado. Yes, in past. Okay. Yes, in past. Now you do uh, a question. Okay. Did, did you go to the church 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 mm, no i didn't no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no i didn't because i have a class <laughs> Okay, in, that's it. That's in this it. hour. Okay. So what? Well, no. What did you go to work? Uh, I went at work uh, at morning. <laughs> in the morning. I'm sorry. No. Noisy, yes, in my heart, in my hand is the people is noisy, very noisy. Yes, and okay. Uh, number three. Uh, is how did you do exam? No. Exam now. Did you do exam now? Exam now. Yo lo que quiero decir que. Did you do the exam? Did you do the exam? He do you the exam? Yes. Did you do the exam? He do you the exam. que el 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 la expresión de tiempo tiene que ser en pasado. Entonces no. En este caso es, hizo el examen, pero ¿cuándo? Ayer, la última Ahora, semana. Now, now. Now sería ahorita. Entonces no se podría porque se, se está hablando del pasado. A menos que diga today, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Did you do the exam today? Si lo hizo el examen ahora. Ahí sí, today. Ajá, ok. 
Thank you, teacher, for your You're words. welcome, Jody. Uh, no, I didn't knock. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Very good. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, last question. Okay. Uh, what did you do in the morning? What? What did you do? In the morning. Okay. Did they make dinner? They, they make dinner. Did, did they make dinner? Dinner. Sorry. Dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Did they make dinner or oh, some different? Mm -hmm. Did they make dinner? Teacher, uh, the exercise is I made the question and the other one answer it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then he asks, he asks the question and then you answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. The purpose is to practice the speaking. All right. Now that you already checked with your previous classmate, now you can practice. Okay. Amilcar, mm -hmm. did they make the dinner? Did they? Yes, yes, she, yes, they didn't, did. Yes, they did. Oh. Uh -huh. Did or didn't? Did, did, uh -huh. yes, yes, they did. Okay. Um, I have more. What computer did you buy? We got a steal that. Yes. <laughs> The old, man, the old man. Sorry. The old man. How old are you? I am. I, 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 I am uh, thirty-eight. Just oh, thirty-eight. It's near of me because I am forty-four. Forty-four, 44 years old. For, for, for six years. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I hope it. I uh, so for me is we will I will be a how what's it say how do you say <laughs> veterano <laughs> veterian <laughs> vegetarian no 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 it's like abuelo <laughs> like abuelo, like abuelo. Oh, man. grandpa <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, <laughs> but but be veteran. Veteran. Oh, sorry. Better in the pronunciation. Better in. Better in is the pronunciation. Yes, better in. Okay. It, we can compare uh, with the old man. <laughs> I early. I hope it be. <laughs> I hope it be a stage two. Jubilación, how do you say this? Sorry, retirement. It's almost. Retirement. Retirement. Okay. Retirement. Okay, okay. How do you say, how do you say jubilado? Retired. A retirement. retirement. <laughs> you are a retirement. <laughs> It's like I, col I, colgar I, los I, tenis, I, entregar el equipo. <laughs> entregar el equipo. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Don't I say that. No. <laughs> you are so young, guys. De verdad que yo lo veo tan jóvenes. No. Uh, oh, bien, no me ya, we, we are old man. Ya. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Entonces quítense el filtro. Ah, no. Uh, I'm just kidding. No, 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 pero créanme que no se ven mayores para nada. Para nada, para nada. 
Sí, gracias. Okay, no, no dijera números. nada. <ríe> no, mentira. No, me quedara callada. No, 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 mentira. <ríe> no, 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 de verdad. De verdad les digo, no, no se ven para nada, ninguno de los dos. <ríe> no, yo sí me agacho, sí. Pero pronto. Yo ya espero, yo ya espero la jubilación. Ay, pronto. no, qué exagerado. <ríe> bueno, 50 years. Teacher, si ya llevo, ya llevo 24 años trabajando para la privada. Wow. 24, 26. Sí, 26. OMG. 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 OMG, right? <laughs> no, pero. Sí, don't say it. Sí. <laughs> don't say it, and you can easily um, be younger if you don't say it. <laughs> That's okay, yes. But I think when I be out of the company, I feel like uh, I will become to a, uh, let me see, <laughs> uh, let me see, I, a girl, ba ba battery, I would like to get a battery mm -hmm. or cafe. Or a beauty salon, I don't know. Mm, but okay. I, I, that would be I great. Be, yeah, up there. Yes. That would be great. <laughs> All right, guys. I will I fun. will I'll be right back. Okay, just allow me one moment. And you continue okay. talking. I'm sorry. I am here because I wanted to 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 correct you. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay, teacher. Bye. Bye. I don't have a card. Only have mm -hmm. next week and this night plus and Amazon. Okay. In Netflix, there are a lot of series. Uh, so interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you? Cook today? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Hello, hello, guys. I believe we will wait for the other ones to join. Yes, they are joining. Okay, let's see. We'll wait for the other ones to join. Hello, hello, guys. Thank you for joining. So everyone is here, right? Okay, guys. So I would like to ask you, how do you feel with those type of questions, guys? Was it difficult? Was it easy for you? Or how do you feel in the written session and also in the speaking session? How do you feel, guys? We practice two types of skills right now. The written one and also the spoken one. Okay. What do you think that is the e is is the easiest skill, the reading or the spoken one, guys? I think the spoken one. The spoken one is easier than the I written think it's one. More, I, I no. think it's, it's more easier spoken than writing, <laughs> the reading. 
Okay, but, but let me let me go ahead and, and, and now ask you the following. What about if you just speak without preparing your question? Without uh, writing your question. What about if now I ask you guys, go to the breakout rooms and let's ask five questions without uh, writing, no written skill, just speaking a skill. ¿Será más fácil si les digo es? ¿O será más difícil si les digo que solo vayan a hacer las preguntas sin escribirlas primero? Yes, teacher. Um... Is just just easy. Uh, it, it, it for me, my my biggest problem is is my listen. Listening. Okay. Yes. In, oh, in we practice the listening problem. as well, right? Yes. We practice the listening as well. Okay. Yes. Sorry yes. that I, I was just forgetting this, pero practicamos el listening también. So, ¿cuál de las tres skills fue más difícil para usted? Yo sé que ya me dijeron que la más fácil es um, speaking, eh, pero ¿qué tal si yo les digo, ok, hagan las preguntas, pero sin prepararlas, sin escribirlas primero? ¿Será más difícil? ¿Formularlas yes. así? Yes, yes right? Yes, teacher. Ok, <laughs> okay. ahora bien, ¿qué tal? Si yo comparo listening and speaking skills sin escribir, ¿cuál es más difícil? Which one is uh, difficult? Depend. To me, it's listening. Listening. Okay. What about the other ones? Me too. Speaking. Speaking. Okay. Me too. Listen. Listening. Oh, 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 two. But hmm, more is listening. Listening, okay. Speaking. Speaking. Because you're creating in your mind, right? The question instead of writing. Okay, guys. So I like those type of activities because it makes you uh, practice the skills at the same time. It makes you participate. It makes you practice. I heard... That whenever you finish, you start talking in English, right? About your daily life experience, about you. I love this, guys. And thank you very much for taking advantage of this time, okay? Because this is the only time that you can practice. You don't have more time. You just have these two hours to practice, okay? So let's practice as much as you can with the other partner that you have, okay? If today... You didn't have a partner that is speak English with you. Tomorrow you will have a partner that is speak English. That's why. That's why. Sorry, I try uh, to move you to different people. Okay, randomly, so you can have the chance to participate and to um, speak with others. I mean, to have the chance to get the opportunity to practice with everyone. Okay. So thank you very much. You are doing awesome, guys. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations. So, guys, uh, now let me ask you. What do you think that is more difficult? Simple pass, normal simple pass, or where to be in pass? To make questions. Virtual being pass. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's 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 it actually easier, right? Simple pass. Aunque tengamos más verbos, pero it's easier. Mm -hmm. I know, guys. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing that with me. Okay. Uh let's see. Let me get a second. Um Okay, so we have another practice today, and this practice is about making yes, no questions, okay? Guys, yo sé que ustedes pueden decir, ay, otra vez, yes, no question, ay, otra vez, WH questions, pero remember, guys, the more that you practice, the more that you learn, okay? Esta clase es, es dedicada a eso, a las preguntas, para que ustedes aprendan a hacerlo, para que la mastericen, okay? Ahora, vamos a hacer yes, no questions and WH questions in simple past 
and also in the verb to be. Ok, vamos a hacer preguntas abiertas y cerradas en verbo to be en pasado y en normal simple past. Todas las preguntas que ustedes quieran. Acá lo que, lo que vamos a hacer es practicar, ok. Pero, ok, vamos a poner una, un target, ¿verdad? Let's see. Lo mínimo de preguntas que puede hacer son cinco, vaya, cinco. Pero usted quiere hacerlas todas, let's do it. Y dentro de esas cinco, dentro de las diez que haga, tiene que llevar verb to be, tiene que llevar simple past, tiene que llevar yes no question, y tiene que llevar wh question, ¿ok? So, here you have the story, ¿ok? This is the story. It doesn't have a name, this is story. <laughs> I don't know why, but it doesn't have a name. So, uh, this is the story, all right? Let's go ahead and read the story. Vamos a tener, let's see how many minutes. Mm, eight minutes to read the story. Oh, you know what? Five minutes, it's easy. Five minutes to read the story. You can read it alone, okay? Usted la lee solito la historia y basada en esta historia, usted va a hacer preguntas. Todas las preguntas que usted desee, all right? En ver to be, en simple past, ok? Hagan todas las que ustedes sean. Let's practice. Manden al grupo las preguntas para que ahí las vayamos corrigiendo. Si quieren, pueden mandarla una a una. Una a una, sorry. One by one para que yo la vaya revisando en el momento. Y así no me caigan como las mil preguntas de una vez, ¿verdad? Así que una vez usted se la pregunta, me la manda, me la manda al grupo. Aunque esté llena de mensajes del grupo, guys, pero ahí lo vamos a ir corrigiendo, ¿ok? ¿Sí? ¿Estamos bien? Let's have five minutes to read the, the story. Y luego me hacen las preguntas basadas en la story. ¿Ok? Right? Let's do it, guys. Let's do it.
Okay, I have the first question here. When did Charles and Beth go to the theater? Theater, very good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Where? Ezekiel, auxiliary, Ezekiel. Where? Did, all right. Oh, yeah, the did. Mm -hmm. Did is missing. Very good. Did they attend a play? Did they attend to a play? To a play. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Ezekiel. Uh, did Charles and Beth go to the theater with their children? Good job. Perfect. Fatima, very good. Okay, quiero ver lo de was and were también, okay? Verb to be as well, guys. Mándeme de verb to be también. Did they attend to a play? Very good. Thank you for correcting. Who, oh, and who, sorry guys. Um, Mr. Jaime, who, remember the exception of who, about did. Sería who enjoyed, who enjoyed, Jaime, who enjoyed the theater. Who enjoyed the theater. Mm -hmm. With ED, el enjoyed, el enjoy va con el ED. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Jaime, aha, there you go. Who enjoyed the theater? Very good, Jaime. Where did Charles and Beth go? Very good, Serena. Where Mabel auxiliary? I'm sorry, teacher. Is did where or where did did where did where they near to the lake? Oh, okay, let me see. Sorry, no lay bien. Um, mm -hmm. mm, yes, very good. Were they near to the lake? Perfect, Mabel. Sorry. Uh, where did uh -huh. no? Sorry. Is that it? Okay. Like you remember the final? Perdón, es que yo. No vi que no tenía H. <laughs> Pensó que uh, era el word del lugar. <laughs> Sorry, my okay. bad. No problem, uh, no problem. Thank uh, you. Thank you. <laughs> what did they talk? Mm -hmm, very good. Why? Julio Merino, auxiliary verb. Ok. Solamente sure. Mabelita nos ha mandado el was and were. Mándenos más, guys. Entre más practicamos ese, mejor. 
Uh, sí. Where their children sleep when they return. Sorry, Sabrina, solo leo la suya. Where their children sleep. Ese word de lugar. Where. El pasado. ¿Dónde? El pasado de was para plural. Where. Where, where their children. Mm, tenemos otro verbo que es el sleep. sleep. Oh, es slept. ¿Dormidos? Sí. Oh, where their children slept when they returned. Very good. Exactly. Very good. Why was a good night for Charles and Beth? Very good, Kenny. Where did they put the children to sleep? Okay, very good, Amilcar. Why? Julio, corríjame por favor. Esa le falte did. Why did? Uy, vamos a, vamos a tratar de, de arreglar esa, Julio. Why not were children asleep? ¿Por qué no estaban dormidos tal vez? ¿O cómo? Eh, what hours? Did they yeah, start ¿por in the no, theater? ¿Por qué no se durmieron? Ok. ¿Por qué no se durmieron? Uh -huh. Why didn't... A ver, déjeme ver. Sería why were not sleep. Ajá. Sería why por qué no estaban sleep. dormidos, tal vez. Exacto. Why... Weren't, why weren't okay. they asleep? Así, asleep, sorry. Asleep. Creo que eso sería. Uno. Let me see the other ones. What hours did they start okay, in teacher. theater? Yes, Very teacher. good. Did they okay. attend a play? Very good. Did Charles and Beth walk together in the park? Very good. Where... Daniel Auxiliary, ok. Ok, I will correct. Let's see, where did they walk beside? Let's see. Mm -hmm. They did. How, how was the moon? How was? How was the moon? Did they walk at to the beach, es así, did they walk to the beach? I have a problem with myself. Do you have a problem with yourself? <laughs> did you have a problem with yourself? No, Marcos, I'm kidding. Uh, did they attend a play? Very good. Was it a good night? No. Did he listen to music last week? ¿Lo hizo relacionado al reading, Marcos? ¿Sí? ¿La pregunta? Sí, está bien, pero yo quiero saber si lo hicimos relacionado al reading. What time was the play in the theater? Very good. Where did they put... Okay. Let's see the next one. Where did Charles and Beth go? Sería Fatima, sorry. Where did Charles and Beth go? On one autumn evening. Así. Where did Charles and Beth go? El buen ya no se, ya no se lo ponemos porque tenemos el lead. Very good, Fatima. Good job. Where did Charles and Beth walk together? Very good. Where did they walk beside? Mm -hmm. Good job. Lo que podría poner de la story es where did they walk?
Teacher, we don't hear you. Or I don't hear you. No, I don't know. It's just if I just don't no, hear you. I can hear too. To the Miss Wong. Miss Salmon. No, no until now. any sound. Hola, ¿me escuchan ahora? Yes. 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 Qué raro. Bueno, sorry, no sé hasta dónde me escucharon. Marcos, el, las preguntas son basadas en el reading, en la lectura que está on the screen. Usted lee la lectura y basada en ese reading me hace las preguntas, ¿ok? Uh, when did they walk together in the park? When did you go? Uh -huh. When did you go to get? When did you walk together? When Julio el did va antes del subject, before the subject, okay? When okay. did they walk the together? The bear, the bear is, 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 is good. Auxil auxiliary verb? Yes. Before the subject. Subject and then the verb walk. Yes, it's okay. fine. Walk. walk. Yes, no, no puede ir walk, but okay, walk. Mm -hmm. Daniel, ahí estamos mezclando el verb to be, el otro, el otro. So, solamente le, en vez del did, el auxiliary did en los verb to be, acuérdese que el auxiliary verb va a ser el was. Entonces usted dice, how was the moon? ¿Sí? Okay. ¿Cómo estaba la luna? How was the moon? Bright. Uh -huh. When did he watch? La ID no tiene que ir ahí, Marcos, porque ya tiene el did ahí, ¿ok? Remove the ID. Mm -hmm. Very good, Daniel. Very good. Estamos haciendo preguntas basadas en el reading, en la lectura. Marcos. Marcos Antonio. Ok, guys. Voy a pasar la lista ahorita. Sorry that I will interrupt you. Sígame mandando sus preguntas. I will continue checking. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Um, Cristian José López Pérez. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Marcos me manda sus preguntas, ok? Basado en el reading. Daniel Isiquel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortés. Present. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. What did they talk about? Very good, Kenny. Julio Cesar Merino González. Present. Julio Cesar Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lizeth Cuellar de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Hola, señora. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Pérez, yo Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Marina Vázquez, sorry, Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Meet. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Okay, let's, let's see. When did Julio, ahí falta el sujeto. When did walk together in the park? 
Ahí solo el sujeto le hace falta a esa. Sorry, teacher, present. Did they walk at the beach? Esa está bien. Did they walk at the beach? Very good. Esa sí está bien, Tania. Sorry que no la había visto, let me see. Ok, de acuerdo. Ok, ah, aquí está, sí. This is good. Did they walk at the beach? Uh -huh. Let's see. Ya pasó lista. Yes. Let's okay. see. Present. Where they walk at the beach, where they walk. Mm, Daniel. Acá estamos poniendo el verb to be con otro verbo también. Cuando usted ponga un verbo, perdón, cuando usted ve un verbo en, en simple past, por ejemplo, play, walk, uh, dance, okay, close, etc. Con todos esos verbos usted va a ocupar el auxiliar did para hacer la pregunta o para negarlo. En cambio, si usted solamente ve el was y el were, ahí no le va a poner el auxiliar did, sino que el auxiliar va a ser el was y el were. Entonces, en ese ejemplo, vamos a poner did they, did they walk at the beach? I mean, did they walk on the beach? ¿Sí? Did. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Okay. Where did Charles and Beth go? Very good. Ajá, mire ahí como, como el verbo es go, por eso es que ponemos el did. When did they walk together in the park? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Good job. Why did children wait? Fátima, quítele la E de nada más a wait, porque como ya estamos poniéndolo en pasado con el did. Why did children wait for Charles and Beth? Why did children wait for Charles and uh -huh, to return? To return al final. Solo le quita la ED y le agrega el, el, el to return, ok? So guys, because it's time, we will finish here. Si quieren seguir haciendo más preguntas, mándenla. Yo la voy a estar revisando, ok? No worries. Y si no, continuamos mañana haciendo las preguntas. ¿Les parece? Les voy a dar mañana five more minutes to continue making questions, ok? Hasta que practiquemos. Sí lo mencioné, Marcos. Sí lo mencioné, pero no me contestó. Marcos, es que me... mañana... Ah, sorry. Mañana me, me hace las preguntas basado en el reading, ¿ok? Porque no me mandó ninguna basado en el reading. Vaya, Marcos. Um, so, guys, I hope you have an amazing night. See you tomorrow. And again, you did an amazing job, okay? See you tomorrow, guys. Um, bye, bye. Bye. Ya pasé lista, right? Porque yeah, se, yeah. se yes. me acaba de ir todo. <laughs> okay, okay. So solo me quedo con Marielos. Have a wonderful night, okay? Take care. You, 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 take, as, you take aspirin. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Take care. Bye-bye. Take, 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 take care. care. Bye. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye, Kenny. Take care. Hello, Marielos. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Teacher, perdón. Oh, don't worry, Jennifer. How are you? Fine? Fine, pero mi, mi red está mal y me sacó los últimos minutos y hasta que logré reingresar y había pasado lista. Oh, ok, pero creo que sí pasé. Let me see, Jennifer. Um, sí, pero sí la tengo, don't worry. Sí, la primera vez me dijo present, so it's Gracias. fine. Bye bye, Jennifer. Good bye -bye. night. Good night. Take care.
Okay, Marielos, thank you very much for staying. Um, tell me, how are you today? How do you feel? Ok, y Marielos, uh, de verdad le agradezco mucho por... Perdón, Marielo, es que le interrumpí. Se le escucha un poco cortado. Dígame. Ah, ok. No, 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 que me quedé así con, como que se había paralizado la pantalla. Ah, no se vaya, preocupe. Vaya de con... <risas> sí, no se preocupe. Bueno, Marielo, fíjese que este tiempo pues lo vamos a dedicar a ver si hay algún, alguna práctica que usted desea obtener extra, algún tema que, que usted desea tal vez tener algún refuerzo o algún comentario, alguna retroalimentación que usted tenga con gusto, dígame cómo le puedo ayudar para que su aprendizaje en, el, en este curso sea pues, más placentero, más cómodo, que usted pues, tenga las habilidades desarrolladas, algo que le cuesta, o cómo le puedo ayudar, cuénteme Marielos. A ver, me cuesta bastante el, el ISIM. El listening. Yo estaba pensando que si podíamos practicar un, un farrafito, solo que ayer como que me sacó, no sé si lo practicamos, pero es ¿Cuál? de la página 5 ah. de, de la unidad 4, el Mi que amor. es de Mr. Lewis. Oh, Eric. sí, si quieres se lo comparto, déjeme leer. Ah, aquí lo tengo también, por aquí. Como me cuesta bastante, el, al menos unas palabras voy a mejorar. En sí, la claro que sí, no se preocupe. Eh, déjeme ver, ahorita le comparto. Permítame, vamos a compartir. Ok, me dice este, ¿será este? Muy bien. Ah, es que yo pensaba uno más larguito, pero creo que eso lo vamos a ver mañana. No, pero si usted desea, de podemos de practicar lo cual. Este, tal vez. Este de Mr. Lewis. Ajá. Ah, ok. Es ¿Y bien. usted se refiere, Marielos, a tal vez la pronunciación? Sí, sí. Ah, ok, muy bien. Marielos, eh, quisiera preguntarle, ¿usted ha revisado el video que he mandado? Yo sé que, pues, es un tema bastante complicado y creo que un poquito avanzado. ¿Verdad? Más sin embargo, eso creo que le va a ayudar un poquito también lo de los sonidos en inglés. No sé si ha visto ese, ese video, que lo hemos visto, de ver, ya se los he pasado varios módulos, lastimosamente no lo podemos ver en la clase, pero siempre se los paso. ¿Ha tenido el chance de ver ese video? No, no. no. Se lo voy a mandar, Marielos, dura un poquito, pero cuando te, tenga tiempo escúchelo. Y eso le va a ayudar mucho, tal vez a mejorar un poquito más la pronunciación, si ese es el área deseada, ¿verdad? En este momento. Eh, probablemente lo, usted al momento de verlo, puede ser que usted diga, no, la verdad es que no le entiendo. O usted me diga, no, teacher, es mucho. Trate de, de tener un poco de paciencia y verlo tal vez una, dos, tres veces con fin de, de estar como practicando los sonidos que ella dice. Le va a ayudar muchísimo, al menos identificar los sonidos. Y pues realmente lo que le puedo decir, Marielos, es que tal vez tratemos, ¿verdad? En este momento lo, lo mejor sería como imitar las pronunciaciones, ¿verdad? Vamos a practicar ahorita... Este, este párrafo del que usted me habla, claro que sí. Mis consejos serían los siguientes. Eh, tratemos, ¿verdad? Tratemos de, de escuchar videos, Marielos, aunque, aunque a veces sea un poquito como, como no tan entendible, aunque usted se frustre al principio y escuche videos de personas nativas. Usted busque en YouTube. Uh, native speakers, native speakers conversation. Le voy a mandar, por ejemplo, una, 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 este, un ejemplo. Así ponga. 
eh, speakers nativos, conversaciones, para que usted pueda escuchar exactamente cuál es el, el cómo hablan ellos, ¿verdad? Realmente yo quisiera tener la pronunciación nativa <ríe> para yo, para que usted tuviera ese ejemplo, al menos tener, un, eh, al menos tratar de, de imitar, ¿verdad? Mi pronunciación le va a ayudar mucho. Más sin embargo, podemos tratar de escuchar este tipo de video, ¿verdad? Déjeme, lo estoy buscando uno. Let's see. Uh -huh. Vale, por ejemplo, este. Dice que son de una familia que están como cocinando y el inglés es bastante nativo. Usted va a decir, oh my God, ¿cómo hablan? Pero al final lo que nosotros tenemos que hacer es que tenemos que acostumbrar el oído, ¿verdad? Con fin de desarrollar nuestro oído y que él escuche cómo es el real English, ¿verdad? Eso sería como mi... mi a mi consejo y también en la parte de abajo de YouTube usted active la opción de subtítulos pero actívelos en inglés no en español si usted los activa en inglés usted va a ir viendo la palabra y usted va a ir escuchando entonces usted al mismo tiempo va a ir aprendiendo la pronunciación de la palabra eso le va a ayudar muchísimo ver ese tipo de videos, pero ponga native speakers, native speakers conversation y trate de escucharla tal vez cuando vaya al trabajo, ahí se lo manda en el grupo, ahí lo estoy mandando, sí, ahorita, cuando vaya sí. en el, muy bien, cuando sí. vaya en el trabajo, Marielos, cuando usted vaya un poco desocupado y usted puede ir escuchando algo, aunque sea que no le esté poniendo el 100% atención y no vaya viendo exactamente los subtítulos, pero al menos usted se está acostumbrando en su oído, ¿verdad? Eso le va a ayudar. Y, este, y el hecho de ir repitiendo las palabras que ellos mismos van pronunciando, ¿verdad? Luego le recomiendo, para el listening, le recomiendo, Marielos, hay otra... Um, hay otro website que se llama Randalls. Randalls um, que son como listening. Mire, eso de verdad se lo recomiendo muchísimo. Yo la verdad lo, lo utilizaba muchísimo. Esta página cuando yo estaba en la universidad. A mí me gusta cómo él pronuncia. Eh, no es difícil y a la misma vez le enseña como quizzes de cómo usted o como, como prácticas, ¿verdad? Usted puede poner en práctica, valga la redundancia, el listening o el audio que usted ha escuchado. Entonces, entre a ese website, explórelo, empiece a practicar, créame que le va a ayudar un montón. Uy, y al mismo uy. tiempo se va a mejorar, perdón, el listening y la pronunciación. Ahí se lo mandé, Marielos. Y si quiere, vamos a practicar este, esta conversación ahorita. Yo se la voy a ir leyendo y usted lo va a ir repitiendo, ¿le parece? Sí, sí. Bueno, dice, um, Hi, Julie, this is Jack. Hi, Julie, this is Jack. This is Jack, perfect. Acá algo muy importante, Marielos, al momento que estamos re repitiendo, es muy importante eh, los, el tono de voz, ¿verdad? Mantenerlo a un nivel normal, de hacer las pronun pronunciaciones pausadas de las puntuaciones. Por ejemplo, acá, hi, Julie, deja un espacio, this is Jack. ¿Verdad? Como respetar las puntuaciones, eso se va a escuchar bien bonito porque tiene que ver mucho también con la entonación que usted lo está leyendo. Si es una pregunta, hacerla como pregunta. How are things going at work? How are things going at work? How are things going uh, No, de nuevo. No, se preocupe. How are things going at work? Mm -hmm. how, how are things going at work? How are, how are it going at work? Things? How things? Are, things? Things? 
going at work. Perfect. Okay. Otro tip que yo le doy, eh, Marielos, cuando usted esté leyendo, trate la manera también de ir, porque a veces a mí me pasaba, cuando yo estaba estudiando, yo trataba la manera de ir más rápido o de hablar más despacio, de hablar más rápido porque yo sentía que lo leía mejor y hablar más despacio porque yo sentía que no se escuchaban mucho los errores. A mí me pasaba eso. A mí me pasaba eso. Entonces, mi consejo es que usted, aunque se detenga, lea lo despacio para que usted vaya articulando cada palabra y la vaya expresando y la vaya pronunciando de la manera que es, aunque se tarde. El inglés al final no es como un qué tan rápido lo hace, sino que qué tan bien. Entonces se lo puede decir, how are, how are things going at work? Eh, y otra cosa. Que las dos palabras, ¿verdad? How, Exacto. How are, how are. Otra cosa, trate de unir los sonidos. Trate de unirlos. En inglés, how are. Por ejemplo, how are, how are. Ajá, uh -huh. how are things? Things, how are things going at work? Very good, muy bien. Y hágalo como más ento entonado, ¿verdad? Como a una pregunta. How are things going to work? Como una pregunta. How are things going at work? Uh -huh. Muy bien. Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. Hello, Jack. Every, everything is fine. Thanks. No, thanks. Thanks or thanks? Thanks. Thanks. Uh -huh. thanks. Otra cosa, Marielos. Tratemos de, de, de otro, otro tip. Pronunciar los últimos sonidos. Los últimos. Por ejemplo, acá. La palabra es es tan importante porque usted puede decir ten o puede decir tense. Entonces, tense. Con uh -huh. el final. Exacto. Tense. Tengamos cuidado de, de, de pronunciar los últimos soniditos por muy eh, pocos, pocos significantes que se vean, tratemos de pronunciarlo. So, hello Jack, everything is fine. Tense. Hello Jack, everything is fine. Thanks. Very good. Si se fija, si lo hace un poco más tranquilo, más despacio, usted va a ir haciéndolo un poco mejor. Con más tranquilidad, ¿verdad? Ahora, how about you? 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 Let's, you? let's repeat this one. You. How you. about you? How about you? Como que usted dijera you. Como que va pasando un lugar y dice <laughs> you. Uh -huh. How, How about, about you? You. Uh -huh. you? You. Just perfect. Just perfect. Uh -huh. Look, I want to know. If you attended a training last year. Look, I, I want to... Want? Yeah, I want? want. want. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to? Yeah. Let's repeat after me. I want to. Aquí estoy want uniéndolo. To. I want to. I want to. Mm -hmm. I want to know. Want to. Uh, I want to know if you attended. If you attending. Attended. Did. Attended. Mm -hmm. Attending. Mm -hmm. A training last year. A training last year. Mm -hmm. yes. We are sending the invitations for the new one. We are sending the invitation for the new one. The new one. Invitations. Invitation. Invitations. Invitation. Con la S al final, trate de poner la S. Invitations. Invitations. Invitations for the new one. 
or the new one? Very good. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. The training I attended was about first aid and the prevention. And prevention. In prevention. Mm -hmm. Let's repeat this. Attended. Attended. Mm -hmm. Esta cuerda se son los final sounds. Attended. Attended. Was about first. Repeat after me. First. 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 Con la T al final. First. 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 First aid, aid and aid. prevention. And prevention. Ajá, ahí le salió el chun. Cuando usted diga en las palabras terminadas en chun, así como esta, prevention, invitation, cuando usted termine la palabra, Ma Marielos, trate de cerrar la boca un poquito para que no suene como chun, sino que chun. ¿Sí? Como que usted la cierra un poquito, ¿verdad? Prevention. Prevention. Fíjese la diferencia entre cuando yo le diga. Prevention. Mira mi boca. Prevention. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si yo la cierro? Prevention. Como que usted está hablando así como de alguien. Mm, esto, mira, que no sé qué. <ríe> entre dientes, ¿verdad? Entonces eso le va a ayudar. Preve en, al menos con, esa pro con ese sonido. Sean. Usted, prevention. prevention. Ajá. ¿Se fija qué diferencia? Very good. Sounds good. Where did it take place? Sounds good. Where did it take place? Did it? Is it did it take? Did it take? Ajá. Siempre estamos did. uniendo los sonidos aquí, mire. Did it. Did it, did, it, did it take place? Did it take place? Uh -huh. Mi recomendación, Mariela, después, cuando usted tenga tiempo, un día trate de leerse un texto y diga, este día yo me voy a unir los sonidos. Y búsquese siempre, porque la mayoría es como así, mire. Um, let's see. La mayoría es como que siempre están una consonante y un nombre adelante. Trate usted, dice, voy a unir esta palabra, a ver cómo se escucha. How are, how are, dice usted, how are, how are things going. Aquí tal vez ya no se puede unir, vea. Entonces trate de unirlas todas y hace esta, esta, este como flechita así. Y ya usted dice, lo voy a leer ahora ya unidos. Y así practique, a ver qué se le va a ayudar también. Ahora, it was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. It was held at um, the Crown Plaza Hotel. Hotel, hotel. 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 Once again, it was. It was it held. It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Plaza Hotel. Very good. Hotel. Acuérdense que esa palabra es como hotel. O que fuera J, ¿verdad? Hotel. Hotel. Uh -huh. Do you remember it? Aquí unido, mire. Do, do you... Sorry, my bad, ya no lo vi bien. Do you recommend it? Perdón. Do you recommend ah, it? Bien, 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 bien. Ah, perdón. Do you recommend it? Do you recommend it? Ajá, lo está uniendo los sonidos. I mean the training. I mean the training. Did you find it helpful? Did you find it helpful? Helpful? No, do you find it helpful? Find it, find it. Una de esta palabra, find it. Find it. Mm -hmm. Did you find it helpful? 
did you find this helpful? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Cuando usted tenga el teli aquí, completely, normalmente es teli. Terminación de teli. Esto se convierte en tli. Es como que usted quitara la e, e acá. Eso se llama eh, sonido silencioso, silent sound. Entonces usted dice absolutely. Absolutely. Uh -huh. absolutely. Cuando tenga esa terminación de teli, quítele la e. Y es absolutely, completely. All right? Okay. Yes, Most, absolutely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Most of us, mire aquí, estoy uniendo. Most of us. Most of us. Most of us. Most mm -hmm. of us. We're pleased. We're pleased. The word is the the pleased were pleased were pleased did no uh -huh. were pleased do mm -hmm. with the speakers and practices with the speakers and practices Practices. Acuérdense los, 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 los last sounds. Los últimos sonidos. Practices. Practices. Uh -huh. I personally learned a lot. Learn a lot. Ahora unamos estos sonidos. ¿Cómo los uniera estos tres? Sería lear, lear lot. Learned a lot. No. Learned a lot. Learned a lot. Learn. ¿Cómo? Learn. Como esta termina en de, ¿verdad? Entonces el sonido es learned. D. Entonces, learned a lot. Learned, learned a lot. Ajá. Learned a lot. Learned a lot. Learned, learned Ahí me está lot. separando a lot. Es learned a lot. Lenda lot. Uh -huh. I personally. Exacto. Learned a lot. Todo lo unimos. I personally learned a lot. I personally learned a lot. Learned. La D no la escucho. Learned a lot. Learned a lot. Diga da lot. Da lot. Da lot. Ahora learned. Learn, no. Learn. 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 Uh -huh. Learn. La R casi no se la escucho. Learn a lot. Learn a lot. Uh -huh. Very good. Entonces, si usted se fija, María lo es de ir practicando, ¿vale? Practicando cada sonido, practicando hasta que no salga. Y una vez que usted. Ok, yo me acuerdo que la ticha me dijo que este lo pronunciara como learn a lot. O ahora, la siguiente vez que usted ve esta palabra, póngalo en práctica. Me acuerdo que la ticha me dijo que estas palabras yo le, le dijera como tli, absolutely, completely, all right? Póngalas en práctica. Entonces, probablemente de todo lo que dijimos ahora, cinco de ellas usted se recuerda, pero esas cinco, ponerlas en práctica la siguiente vez, ¿verdad? para que así usted vaya interiorizando ese aprendizaje. Pero qué bueno, Marielo, que usted me ha comentado el día de ahora qué es lo que le está costando. Créame que con las prácticas que yo le he mandado le va a ayudar un montón. Y hizo un buen trabajo en practicarlos. Ahora, mi otra recomendación es que cuando practiquemos en clase, usted repita y repita y repita. Si le da pena, apaga el micrófono y repita. Hasta que usted Así lo haga no, igual a mí. No, pero si repito. Bueno, aunque si usted le da pena, nosotros entendemos, pero si usted desea, enciéndalo y yo ahí escucho y voy viendo cómo lo va haciendo. ¿Sí? Entonces, por el momento, como le digo, escuche esos listenings, trate de imitarme, aunque pues no estoy perfecta, trate de imitar mi pronunciación. Y pues luego usted se va a ir masterizando más al momento que escuche otros listenings de otras personas que hablan 
exactamente nativo, ¿verdad? Así como el video que le mandé. Dura bastante, sí, eh, pero puedes buscar otro video un poco más corto de personas, de diferentes personas de ese lugar en específico. Eso le va a dar un montón. Muchas gracias. Bueno, gracias a usted por su tiempo, Marielo. Gracias por quedarse y por tener la confianza de decirme. Estamos a la orden y cualquier cosa está mi WhatsApp para que me pueda molestar. Si quiere algo que le revise o que alguna palabra que usted desea saber la pronunciación o, o algo que yo le pueda ayudar, con muchísimo gusto yo le ayudo, ¿ok? Muchas gracias. Un placer, Marielos. Que tenga una excelente noche y cualquier cosa estoy a la orden, ¿ok? Igual, feliz noche. También. Bueno, cuídese mucho. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Marielos. Bye bye, chicos.